Hey guys, Alexander here, back with another video in the Probability and Statistics series. Now in this video I will be introducing to you the chi-square distribution uh, with its basic properties and how do we arrive at a distribution that is a chi-squared distribution. So firstly, this symbol over here is the Greek letter chi and this distribution is called the chi-square distribution with k degrees of freedom. So this is the only parameter that this distribution takes, it's k. Uh, this is uh, the degrees of freedom of uh, your data um, that or that this distribution is taking. So if x, if a random variable x is distributed as a standard normal random variable, that means it has a it's normally distributed with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1, then x squared will follow a chi-squared distribution with 1 degree of freedom. Okay, So if x is distributed as standard normal, then x squared will be distributed as a chi-squared with 1 degree of freedom. Note that chi-squared random variables are additive. That means that the summation of independent chi-squared random variables is a chi-squared random variable in itself with the degrees of freedom equal to the summation of all the individual degrees of freedom. So let's have let's say a random variable w is equal to the summation from i is 1 to k of xi squared, where each of these xi's are independently identically distributed as normal random standard normal random variables. So we know already that each xi squared will be distributed as a chi squared with one degree of freedom. So we have the summation of k chi squared one uh, random variables, and that's going to give us a distribution of chi squared with k degrees of freedom. So if w is equal to the summation from i is 1 to k of xi squared, where each xi is iid distributed as no standard normal, then w will follow a chi-squared distribution with k degrees of freedom. Chi-squared distribution continues. So it's the use of the chi-squared distribution is that it is regularly used in inferential statistics, particularly in hypothesis testing and constructing confidence intervals of the population variance when the underlying distribution is assumed to be normal. In a later series of videos where I will talk more about mathematical statistics and inferential statistics, I will cover how we actually arrive at this result and how we use the chi-squared distribution. But for now, in this, the following few videos, all you need to know and what we will be focusing on is the properties of the chi-squared distribution. So, let's start off with its probability density function. The probability density function for a chi-squared random variable is given by x to the power k over 2 minus 1 multiplied by e to the negative x over 2. All of this divided by 2 to the power k over 2 multiplied by gamma of k over 2. And there is a reminder that I would uh, like to, to give to you guys is that for a uh, gamma distributed uh, for this gamma function gamma of some let's say alpha the gamma of alpha will be given by is the same as alpha minus one factorial that is something that you need to know and another important detail is that this kind of looks this pdf for the chi squared it kind of looks like the PDF of a gamma distributed random variable. Now let me just remind you that for a gamma it's lambda e to the negative lambda x multiplied by lambda x to the power of alpha minus 1 over alpha minus 1 factorial and we know already that this is a gamma, a gamma of uh, alpha. So if we let alpha to be equal to k over 2 and we let lambda be equal to 
1 over 2, then, th then we see the equivalency between a gamma with k over 2 and 1 over 2. This is the same as a chi-squared distribution with k degrees of freedom. And you can go do that by taking this equation and plugging those values in, and then you will see you will arrive at this PDF over here. So remember, gamma of alpha is the same as alpha minus 1 factorial, and the, there is a stronger relation between gamma distributed random variables, exponentially distributed random variables, normal distribu normally distributed random variables, and the chi-squared distribution chi-squared distributed random variables and I will make a video about that covering all these links and how we can um, go from one distribution to the other. So the second thing that I would like to point to your attention to is the nice property of the chi-squared distribution that its expected value is k and its variance is simply two times its expected value 2k and the moment generating function is given by 1 minus 2t to the power of negative k over 2 for t less than a half. And you can see that we will be able to arrive at this by changing a gamma distributed random variable into this form. So how we do that is we factor out the lambda We keep the exponent, of course, so these cancel out, and then we are left with 1 minus 1 over lambda t to the power of negative alpha. So then we can see this alpha corresponds to this negative k over 2. This 1 over lambda corresponds to 2, so that means that lambda should be equal to a half, and alpha is equal to uh, k over 2. And that's that. That's how we can see the link between the gamma distribution and the chi-square distribution. I will give more formal and well-written uh, uh, proofs for the moment generating function in a later video, and I will also give you the proof for the expected value and the variance. I hope you found this introduction to the chi-square distribution video helpful. And I hope that you are now a bit more motivated to look further at how we actually derive the properties for the chi-squared distribution and what we use, use it for. Now, I would just like one last word about the chi-squared distribution. It is used a lot in the chi-squared goodness of fit test when we uh, test the differences between our observed data and what we expected um, our data to be like under a certain set of assumptions. So that, that's that for the introduction for the chi-squared distribution. I hope that I'm making your studies and your pursuit of statistics just that bit, that much easier. Boer Commander, out.